Welcome to Around the Fire. Okay guys, welcome. Uh, today we have a MMP 10 that is their uh, AR-10 that they're manufacturing now. This is the law enforcement package that you get minus the scope uh, out of the box here. This is exactly what you've received with a 10 round magazine that's in the backpack over there. Um, out of the box pretty nice. I mean, you got your adjustable buttstock, um, your ambidextrous controls. Both sides have safety, slide release, mag release, safety, slide release, ambidextrous mag release. Bolt carrier group, a, the gas tube uh, receiving bit there, and whatnot are chrome lined. It is a non-neutered bolt carrier so if you are perhaps one of those people interested in making a fully automatic AR-10 you are capable of doing so with this one. A standard A24 grip which I plan on replacing um, it's just a polymer your standard larger size gas block with a bit of rail on there so you can put a front sight and a back sight flip up sight if you wanted to. Um, it's got your dust cover it's uh, got your forward assist. I mean, really, it's got all the fixings that you'd expect there, and for not a bad retail price, um, I picked this one up for I believe it was fifteen hundred and forty-five dollars at Field and Stream uh, on their Christmas Black Friday sale. Uh, I got hundred bucks off of it, so you know, came in around thirteen or no fourteen something. On gun broker sometimes a bit cheaper if you can find them but that's about where they should be at if you find them uh, now let's get to that range footage
Uh, in the footage there, you'll notice a few times there was a failure for the last round hold open to function. That perhaps this 308 Winchester Super X 180 grain might be underpowered for this rifle. That or something to do with the buffer setup. I, you know, I'm gonna have to get into it and really take a look, but it's disappointing. You know, it's disappointing when you go out and you spend fifteen hundred dollars and you come home wondering what's wrong with your gun. You know, you see this happen a lot now, and it's really sort of disheartening. Because, um, you know, that's that's what this channel is all about. I'm, I'm here to, to be real with you guys. I'm not in any way uh, affiliated with any of these companies. I don't make any money doing these videos, you know, other than uh, I've monetized my channel and, you know, some of the advertising. Um, I think so far I've made 49 cents. You know, uh, so, you know, I, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion to you if you're going to go spend uh, your money, be like I am. And maybe, maybe it just needs to be lubricated a bit better. You know, maybe I need to take it apart and grease things up. You know, ARs like to run wet. Um, you know, maybe it's underpowered ammunition. You know, this is the Winchester 308 Super X. If you know, of that being sort of a commonplace issue please do share that with me because you know by no means am I a know-it-all kind of guy here we went through about 30 rounds out at the range today um, just because the stuff is so expensive and uh, there were I believe two failures to hold open um, but once it seemed to get going, it seemed to get going. So, I mean, maybe it's just a break-in period. It's hard to say. All in all, I think it worked well. It's an incredibly accurate gun. I'm going to grab the targets here in a minute so you guys can see. But I just wanted to bring up that one mood point because my feeling going into this was that I had gotten a really good deal on a really stellar weapon. I want to come out of this still feeling that way, so I'm going to try here, you know. I watched a lot of videos before I went out and purchased this that just said all sorts of great things about this gun, how accurate it was, and there was no malfunctions in anyone else's video, so I'm hoping it was maybe just, you know, it's right out of the box, maybe some things were kind of gummed up with uh, a little bit too much factory grease or something, and that, you know, I needed to go through and give it a good cleaning and a good oiling. There we go. Okay. Let's see. First glance here. It looks to be nice and cool on the inside. Okay. You know, upon further inspection here, I'm going to go ahead and say that this just looks like it needs some wearing in. Um fitment of all these pieces right now is very tight and they are kind of a tad on the dry side. I'm assuming, you know, just from what I'm looking at here that this was not sufficiently lubricated nor broken in yet. It's just dry. It's just dry and brand new and it's, you know, really, really tight. I'm going to say for the money, which is $1,500, which is a lot of money, mind you, they, this is a safe bet, okay? Um, based on that one problem we had here and now looking at this, I'm uh, relatively, I'm like 80-90% confident that this was just our issue, just needed some more lubrication and some wearing in. I say it's a safe bet. I mean, I, I'm just looking at the quality of this and feeling this in my hand right now. And this thing is so solid and so massive. It's just, you know, the heft to this is beastly, you know, compared to an AR-15. and. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with solid construction, you know, and it's here. It's all here. I mean, this is an extremely nice, tight-fitting rifle. Um, another feature on these that you can't see, let's see if I can get it on the film, I don't know if it'll show that, but um, M&P has put these little 
rubber grommets into their uh, upper receiver and I believe that's a patent pending item from them and it you know just ensures an incredibly tight lock between the two like you'll see that I had some trouble there just popping that pin because everything is so tight together like so the specifications here are nice you know it's very nice I think that they've manufactured an incredibly quality rifle that is incredibly accurate um, and for the money you're not going to do very much better I, I haven't seen anything out there I did some looking you know I wanted one of these and uh, I started pricing out parts on cheaperthandirt.com and I think you know you, you're looking at like five hundred dollars in that region uh, just for a barrel so it's it's really um, up to you I mean you could put it together piece by piece know exactly what you got and where you're going and dollar for dollar make it every single thing you want like right now you know I paid fifteen hundred dollars I got sort of like some bare bones stuff like we were talking about you know I got an adjustable butt stock and everything but I'm gonna change that you know I'm gonna put two hundred dollars there two hundred dollars in here sixty dollars there so it's another, another almost five hundred bucks that's gonna go into this gun before it's said and done and uh, you know you could spend that uh, on something else if you're going in a different direction you know but I think that if you're looking for a solid base to start that's extremely well built, extremely high quality, does not have a neutered uh, bolt carrier group. It's got your chrome lined uh, gas system like I said and I, I believe there's some other chrome lined components going on here. I can't really tell. Oh, no, yeah, there it is. Chrome lined bolt carrier group. So that's nice and that explains uh, explains quite a bit about how tight that is then so yeah that's gonna wear in a bit but I mean you know just your internals right there alone that's an expensive set of internals very nicely manufactured like I said you've got a high quality Smith & Wesson barrel you got a nice muzzle brake you've got uh, extremely tight fitting high quality upper you know and lower combination everything's there you know uh, good quality base so if you're like me and sometimes you like to tinker, you know what I mean? But maybe you just didn't want to commit five, six hundred dollars to a barrel, you know, not to mention like fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars in just parts, period. Kind of coming in from all these different places, waiting for them to get there, putting them together, you know, having to buy new tools that you might not have, may or may not have. I mean, if you're somebody that's comfortable with that and you have all that, like you could do that, that's your option. But I think you you're not going to go wrong here. You're not going to be disappointed that you ended up buying this. You're not going to go back later and say, oh God, I really wish I had got that spikes lower or something. You got this really nice ambidextrous lower. I think this is a gun that's going to hold its value well. I think this is a gun that's, uh, you know, going to be nice for multiple shooters other than obviously the rounds, you know, do still come out the right hand side. So, you know, if you're a lefty, you're going to still hit the face with brass, you know. Um, it's nice. It's a nice gun, you know. I don't think for the money you could go wrong here, guys. I think it's a big purchase. It's one of my bigger purchases. Um, you know, I, I hope you appreciate what I'm trying to do here and uh, be overly thorough about things and, you know, just make sure that you guys are spending your money in the right place. Um, guys have done it for you and, and they did a really good job out of the box, out of the box right there with that center point scope again from Walmart, uh, nothing special, um, doing about one and a half, two inch groups, so good stuff. Yeah, so all in all guys, I hope you liked today's video, um, I hope you had fun watching, I hope you think that these videos are helpful, um, because otherwise what the heck am I doing? Uh, you know, again, 308 white box, or not white box, I'm sorry, Super X, Winchester. Um, had a few little issues there in closing I think it was just poor lubrication and brand new parts you know probably a bit of friction there that could have been mitigated on my end uh, please like please subscribe 
Um, please check back for other videos. Uh, if you've got questions, comments, you know, if you want to share with me your experiences with this rifle or maybe some of the other stuff I have on my other channels, please do. Uh, that's what I'm here for. You know, I love to talk it out with guys. I love to help dudes out. Um, you know, I love if you guys can help me out. You know, if you guys can teach me something, if you guys have done something cool with this or figured something else out, you know, let me know and, you know, we can spread the good word together. Um, other than that, you know, uh, you know, please uh, you come back again and thank you. Thank you guys for checking in. I really appreciate it. And it was nice to officially meet you guys. I've updated some filming equipment and finally now we can see each other. So, all right. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy.